morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Anything can be a drum. <laughs> So glad you're here with Daily Vlog. So today, I am the dominant predator. Today's video makes sure you come back. Were you scared? Tell me honestly. I I actually already entered, but Oh, I'm done with work, so it's plenty <laughs> time. And Jamesy loves his Rex. He keeps holding his little hands. And we've just been watching Toy Story shorts. Ooh. So you're an Italian little kid without saying you're an Italian little kid. Every other bite he's been dancing after. Yeah, he got distracted by the Toy Story. I'm getting the vlog exported. Run Disney shirt monster. <laughs> Where's Daisy? Oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't know if Daddy ever showed his race shirt. <laughs> Mommy wasn't there at the expo to, to do the haul. <sighs> okay, let's show Tiana. Good morning. Yes, it's the next day. Yes, it probably feels like there was a big jump in the vlog. But I thought I was getting all of this cute footage yesterday of James playing with Peter's shirts and Eve like letting us put shirts on her. I thought I was getting all this cute footage. Well, I'll put maybe one or two clips here, but every time I was starting, I was actually stopping. And every time I was stopping, I was actually starting. So like, I literally was just like recording, moving like the camera down to not be showing what I thought I was showing. So none of that footage was captured. So I wanna show you really quick Peter's t-shirts from Princess Weekend. Um, and then we are going to go um, get some poonchkis for Fat Tuesday. Alrighty, so Peter wore this Tiana shirt for the 10K. We have Mulan. I love the colors, they're like really nice and pastel y. And I love that she's in her warrior outfit. And then the challenge shirt is Moana. And then Peter did, even though he was not there for the 5K. He was able to get his Cinderella shirt for that. So that's his little race shirt haul. I love the colors this year. I also love that Princess Weekend is short sleeve because I know, like, you'll get cold run Disney weekends in Florida, but like typically a short sleeve running shirt is better for the races than the long sleeves. So. I'm a fan. Did you like the shirts this year? Yeah, let's go to see if there's punchkis. Okay, you ready? I've never had a punchki before. Do it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> uh oh, look at this long line. Long line of cars going into Jewel. It must be the Poonchki line. Did we get a Poonchki? <laughs> no, but there's a Stan's Donuts down the street from here, and they've got Poonchkis. They're Chicago based, so it still works. Yeah, I mean, I don't discriminate against what kind of Poonchki I eat. We did get Irish soda bread. Like, so I didn't even realize like they'd be baking it already, which makes sense. It's March. Yeah. All right. Success. Oh, what kind are oh, you yeah, gonna see, get? I'm gonna get. We're gonna get a bunch. We got one chocolate. We got the last chocolate. Three cream and two cherry. <laughs> Jamesy. Which one do you want? It's Poonski Day. That's the one I was gonna pick, but you can have it. Folk, folk, folk. Mmm. Sugar. I think I have cherry. I'm sweating. It was like 45 degrees out. It was glorious. Poonski. So good. Happy Poonski Day, everybody. Jamesy, do you like the punchki? Today's movie is the Black Cauldron. We're also gonna take down Valentine's Day today, I think. Maybe not put up St. Patrick's Day, but at least take down Valentine's Day. All right, it's been warmer during the day, but I forget how it drops at nighttime. I definitely should have worn pants. It's like 35. I'm heading over to my orange theory. Um, I didn't, I had a Monday morning 6 a.m. scheduled, but I figured I was, I realized I was too tired and exhausted and my legs were sore, so I canceled it and I wanted to rebook today this morning, but it was full, so I booked the 7 p.m. class. So that's where I'm going now. I'm interested to see if they're gonna require masks because that Illinois mandate ended yesterday. Planet Fitness emailed me and said they won't require it. And Orange Theory has still been spacing and requiring full vaccination prior to this. So if it's like the people that I that are usually in the classes and still spaced, I'm vax boosted and antibodied. So I might, depending on how full the class is, I might go maskless if they don't require it. Because I've never had an Orange Theory class maskless, which does add a different level of intensity to my breathing and heart rate monitoring. So we'll see. That is at Orange Theory. We have discovered that figment. You can put things inside of the popcorn bucket. So this has kept us busy for a bit. I am feeling it today. I am so happy though. I was supposed to go to my midwife's office to get my Rogam shot and my Tdap um, vaccine. But I already had like a normal checkup on Friday and before I left, before I went, they called and they're like, you don't have to come twice. And it's like a pretty decent drive. Um, especially when it's like figure things out with like Peter working, James's nap time, all of that stuff. So I'm very relieved about that. Excuse me. Um, so we're gonna do bath time tonight. And by the time Peter comes home, it'll be around the time that James will go to bed. But I have a feeling, because we ate dinner so early, that I'm going to be hungry. Okay, went to Orange Theory. Um, it was a really good workout. It was more of a strength day, but we did some crazy incline work on the treadmill and then a lot of floor work on the arms. My arms are, are tired, but it feels good. Sarah pointed out, she's putting James down right now, afterwards that this is the quickest she thinks um return to working out i've ever done after a run disney weekend so i only took monday off and tomorrow i'll go out for a run mask mandate ended statewide there are some places that are still implementing their own here but i was able to do my own theory class without a mask and that was the first time i've ever done that um so that was weird but good it was a little easier for me to control my heart rate zones and everything having 
Um, cause it, using a disposable before I would get like halfway through class and my mask would be soaked. And I, at some, sometimes I'd even bring it too, so I could like swap out a different one. Um, so that was, that was interesting and different, but a good sign of where things are hopefully going in society. Um, I just finished swapping out the dishes and stuff. So I feel good about the kitchen. Um, feel good about the apartment. And we got to listen to snippets of the State of the Union Address by President Biden, and I thought that went well. Um, saw something for the first time that we haven't seen here in America in a long time, and it was a strong bipartisan unity at the beginning, unfortunately at the cost of what is sadly happening in Ukraine with that nasty man Putin and what he's doing to the world and to that country. So um, for anybody who's affected by that directly, the Brookharts are thinking and praying for you and for all of that nonsense to end. It is terribly sad, um, the images, videos, and stories that are coming out of that. But Sarah's been in there for a while with James, so I think she might have fallen asleep. So I'm going to peek my head in there and uh, see if she's asleep or not to get her out of there. But it's 9.30. I don't have orange here tomorrow, so we don't have to go to bed super early. And... I think we're in a place that we can maybe just relax together, Sarah and I. Um, work's been busier these days, but in a good way. So might just some hangout time with my best friend would be, sounds really good right now. What is this? We have like the local pieces of artwork. And look at this Star Wars dude. Tell me one thing that doesn't, that screams more Fat Tuesday, Poonski day than getting delicious Rocks Lakeview burgers at 10 o'clock at night. And since they don't sell fountain Cokes, I ran to the 7-Eleven to grab Sarah a fountain Coke from there. And I got to backtrack to Rocks. And I just realized that I just left. I didn't even tell Sarah. I went through the back door too of our apartment. I didn't even say. I just like got up <laughs> to the, the, the back door, put on my moccasins, grabbed my keys and just walked out the door. So I wonder if she's even realized that I've left yet. I love Chicago because only in a place like Chicago can you decide at 10 o'clock at night that you're gonna run to a 7-Eleven to get a fountain drink and then run to a brewery distillery restaurant to pick up some delicious burgers all within your neighborhood at 10 o'clock on a Tuesday night. I use the same logic I use for my resorts if you've been watching for all. I say, well, well, it's not just the best resort, but I say the Crescent Lake Boardwalk, Beach Club, all of that is the best resort area. Chicago's the best city. Disney World's the best place. If you ever come to Lakeview or regularly come to Rocks Lakeview, so good. They have a window that I just walked up to to pick up. I walked up, rang a doorbell. It's a name, I said Peter, and there it was. Boom. I think they did my number Oh, good, we requested it. And that was the one thing Sarah didn't like about this joint is that a lot of the burgers come on pretzel buns. <laughs> Wait, did yours come on a pretzel bun? Yeah. Okay. So here is Sarah's. It is a the Gordo. Gordo with some spicy Thousand Island dressing, deep red pickles, fried onions, bacon or something, deliciousness on a burger. And we got it modified. It's supposed to come with pretzel. We got it on them. Brioche. Mine comes with. Oh my gosh, onion strings galore. The Rocks burger, which is onion Long strings, legs. <laughs> bacon, <laughs> jack cheese, lettuce, tomato, and pickle. Thank you. It's ketchup, even though we didn't ask for it. Um, We're all, the, ketchup. all of it came with french fries, mm -hmm. but we also got um, sweet potato sweet fries potato. because we added a kicker of oh just like their house grilled cheese. Because Fat Tuesday, right? Oh, I think mine comes with... Does one of us come with Jardinero? Um, Yours. Mine does, so you have to put the Jardinero on the burger, too. Wow. What, what a dream. Yes, what a dream is right. We're going to finish off the night with the last episode of season one of Peaky Blinders. What do you think of the show, now that you've officially started watching it? I really enjoy it. Whoa. And I want all their outfits. Do you still think everybody stinks? Everyone just looks like they need a bath. <laughs> <laughs> and it is like Birmingham in like nineteen nineteen. And like everything is so dusty, but like it's also like 
very industrial. It's Birmingham in 1919. Like you can see like the sparks and stuff. So like because everything's got soot. Yeah. Yeah. But still, <laughs> not necessarily like would want to be there. Would you be it's part of the IRA? Would you be part of the IRA? I think you would. I think I need to learn more about the IRA. Okay. We'll get back to you, pretty. Sarah's going there to was me. someone with the last name Ryan. Yeah. In the IRA. It was your cousin. Season one of the Picky Blinders is done. Mm-hmm. It's so good. I think we'll watch another season. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>